Hi, I'm Chris Russell. I'm a first seat trainee at Osborne Clark's Bristol office and I'm currently doing a seat in the corporate department. I joined the firm in September this year, so my training contract has been almost completely virtual up to this point. Hopefully everyone applying to the firm at the moment won't have to do their training contract virtually, but just in case they do, I'd like to share a few things that I've learned since I joined the firm. The first piece of advice I'd give is to regularly ask your supervisor and the rest of the team that you're based in for feedback on the work that you've been doing. In normal circumstances, a big part of the learning experience for a trainee would be watching lawyers in the team and almost learning by osmosis by seeing how they interact with their clients day in day out. Unfortunately, that can't really be replicated when you're working from home. So it's even more important to make sure that you're learning by getting detailed feedback on the work that you are completing. Thankfully, all of the partners at Osborne Clark are extremely approachable and they understand how valuable feedback is for trainees because it, it can feel quite daunting as a trainee to ask a senior lawyer to give you feedback on work that you've been doing. My second bit of advice is to be as proactive as you can about meeting new people in the firm. It's obviously a lot harder than normal when you're working from home to build up a network of contacts at the firm. I would just advise you to email people if you're interested in the work that they're doing and try to arrange, for example, a virtual coffee or a quick phone call to discuss the work they do and see if there's anything you can get involved with. Osborne Clark have actually been running a coffee lottery recently uh, whereby anyone who enters gets paired with a random person in the firm and they set up a virtual coffee between the two people which is a great way to meet someone new without having to actually go out of your way to arrange it yourself. My third piece of advice is to keep separation between your work life and your home life. When you're working from home it can be hard to switch off at the end of the day but OC have made it clear to me from day one that they want me to have a good work-life balance. So when you stop working, make sure you switch off. Thanks.